visitors, if you would state your name and your comment, you have two minutes each. Okay. Um, I'm uh, Mary Coleman with Geekin Local Arthur. I live about four blocks from here. Um, as a matter of fact, I've been coming to the library, library about 19 years. And um, when I started my main business about 15 years ago, my flyer used to be on that bulletin board. It took me 30 days to get my first customer from a flyer on that bulletin board right there. And I used to work with uh, Deborah Gilbert to do events in this very room to bring visitors to this library. And uh, uh, that's one of the rules that I hope this body will consider changing back because for-profit businesses can no longer put uh, flyers on the boards. I, Ten years ago, uh, a lot of businesses used to put their flyers out and, and it really did. Uh, we would all come in and, and then when someone was having an event, uh, it, it really spread work. There are a lot of micro businesses in this community. And uh, also, one of the rules that you all have changed is the fact that uh, authors, local authors cannot do book events in the libraries anymore. When I became author six years ago, I went to every library in the city of Jackson. Now you have to go through Willie Morris, the friends of the Jackson Library, which has become, can I be frankly, a gatekeeper. Because I, for six years, I have tried to do an event at the, uh, through the Jackson Friends of the Library, and me and at least a dozen other people have never been able to have an event there. So uh, that hurts literacy, and it hurts the voice of authors in the city when you have a gatekeeping system. And also, we have been on the ground conducting research for six to eight months. And one of the common things that have come up is the fact that people are purged from the library. And also, there are not enough summer reading books. We, we, we go and talk to people in the parking lots and we, uh, we have a stack of uh, surveys and that's a common thing. I have parents and grandparents who say that by the time they stand there to check out the summer reading, the summer is over. And this, is, uh, this, is, this has just been a lot of people saying that. And uh, another issue that I have is uh, This is just personal. I love Richard Wright, and this is the Richard Wright Library, and I would hope that there would be more programs so that people, uh, young kids will understand who Richard Wright is. Because a lot of kids that come to these libraries, this is uh, historic, they don't really know who the namesake is. They don't know anything about the namesakes. And, um, oh, another rule, I, I've talked to young people who walk to this very library who say that they become discouraged in terms of reading because the books that they like are not there. And there used to be a rule seven or eight years ago where anybody could come into the library and say, for instance, uh, a little boy could say that I, I like the Hardy Boys or whatever. And the, and the libraries would order them. And now I understand from people that you all just rent best-selling books, but that's not necessarily what interests um, people, a lot of people. And then when you're trying to increase literacy, a lot of us are attracted to reading when we read about something that is interesting to us and sometimes characters that look like us. We will take and, all that into consideration. Yeah. And um, I have one more point, and then I'm in two minutes. Uh, my, my final thing is the fact that I think that it would be very, very helpful, in because you know we have a literacy crisis in the city of Jackson, if there were more friends of the library groups because it has become obvious that we need more outreach from the <clears throat> library and people who will be able to connect 
to the literacy needs of the people who live in the community. And uh, I think Thank that you for those that was uh, uh, all of uh, my points. Thank you very much. And thank you all for your service. May I correct one thing? Community uh -huh. bulletin boards do exist in some of the libraries. If you want it well to in any business, can put a card on that. If you'd like one here, I'll be glad to put one on. Okay. It's okay. not illegal to have a community bulletin board. Okay, because I was told that you, you had to be a 501 c 3 nonprofit. No. For, for profit businesses use the one at Wealthy, and I would encourage you to go post your, okay. your flyer. Here, here's a flyer. We do a reading program. Sure. I'll be glad to post it. Okay. Thank you. There can only be one friends of the library, and this this building was planned by the Jackson Friends in 1971. And there can't be more than one. Uh, Sorry. You made a state, you made a point that. In order to get your a, a book, an author book in the library, you have to go through Friends of Library, Friends of the Library. Is, is that a standard practice or or what? I thought that was our decision to put a book, a local author's book in the library. Well, oh, it's not the book. They want to have book sales and have book talks and sell books in the library. We have a local authors festival once a year. We have so many requests. And the authors come in and out making money off of the building. So is that is that what you're trying to do, sell books? <laughs> Six years ago, when I first did my first book, I, I've done five, I could go to any library in the city and sell books. And now you can only go through one. And I have never been able to get into that one, even though I have sold books to friends group in Florida, New York. North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, and other parts of this state. I have never done one through the Jackson Friends. And I know of dozens of other libraries, I mean, uh, black authors who have never been able to get through that door. That's so that's, uh, that's a concern to me. I would definitely take all that under consideration. Thank you. I get your number is on here. I was just going to ask that she put all of your complaints and concerns in writing, so that if we need to refer to what you're saying right. in the future, we will have a record of what you just said. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, who can I email it to? I, I, I have your email. I can email, email it to me. And I'll email it to each one of us. Oh, I can send it to you. Each one of us. Yeah, send I send it to each one of us. Okay. I will tell you that there are two, right? There are two attorney general's opinions prohibiting commercial activities in public buildings. So we have not had any programs for promoting commercial business in any of our meeting rooms. We had to cut that off because MLC told us it was illegal. So. Yes, ma'am. My name is Hazel Hall. I want to say that I grew up in Jim Crow where everything was separate but equal. And I never thought that any years later I'd still be dealing with that. I think that for one library to have a paragraph in their charter that precludes other libraries in the city of Jackson is discrimination. This is not, this is not, this is not our decision. The Library Commission has a registry of friends. This library was registered as one of the Jackson Friends of the Library. Um, they've invited Ms. McGee to come and talk with them to see if she would like to join their group, and she did not show up for the meeting. I was at the meeting. And she did not show Is that up. what you're talking about, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. And it could be redacted from the chart. It doesn't have to stay in that chart because the same people in Jackson that put it in can take it out. It's a decision at the Library Commission. Okay, well, who it's do we go to, ma'am? And when did they have that meeting? State agency. State agency. Yeah. Mississippi Library. They maintain the state friends, and when a library is registered, there can only be one friends group, and this one was registered. So it's not something we can do. Okay, tell library. me who to go to who I can get a form You can go see Charmin Smith at the Mississippi Library Commission, or anyone else there. I went to the library commission and they told me to go to you all. <laughs> I went to the highest level of supervisors. 
I came before this body and tried to get us to do book events one summer, and I never returned, got a return phone call, and some of you in this room were there when I requested it, and some of you were not. We don't control the French Library. No, I'm not talking about that. Franchise. We tried to do something like that. So, if you'd like to have a program in our library, you're welcome to submit an application for a program. Through the All library. of a sudden, four years later, it just but can't be a commercial activity. I, I, I don't have a, I'm an author that is in the business of selling books. Mm -hmm. I don't have a, a nine to five job that I get paid out of. I, I earn money by selling books, so it does me no good. He told me I could come here and do a program, but I couldn't sell any books. That's correct. So that, that because all my pocket is bad. Because I put bacon on the table by selling books. Has made a ruling that no one can can gain commercially by the use of the public. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. was her? If you look on our <clears throat> library frequently asked questions, we quote the two attorney general opinions that state that commercial activities cannot go on in public buildings. You can't have a book talk in the Capitol building and sell your books there because it's a public building. We were told by MLC that we could not. I mean, it's not my decision. Okay, can we see general. that in writing, please? But I saw someone sell books in this very room when I couldn't come in and sell it. We haven't had any books in I saw that same person sell books in another room, but that person no, has no had time. It. To my knowledge, we've had no book sales here since that room. Okay. My God. I'm sorry. I thought you could have a discussion of the books. That's certainly mm -hmm. true. That's, That's not a commercial. Huh? That's so not a dissertation. You just so can't. You can the book, Certainly. The book. Anyone's welcome to do that. There are wings. Good evening. Yes. My name is Asadil Kajaku. Um, and I just wanted to, to make the statement that um, a few years back, and I don't have the exact year, nine students from Tougaloo College visited a uh, library in Jackson in an attempt to gain access to information. It's sad that in 2018, we're still seeking access to information. At some point in time, we've got to take a look at regulations that have uh, been put in place and make honest decisions as to whether or not those regulations still have biases attached to them. And when, those, when that is the case, we have to be honest enough to say that we're going to change those types of regulations. I remember trying to post a notice by a public meeting at the Eudora Weldy Library and was told that I needed permission in order to post my, my you weren't at the, uh, you weren't at the helmet at the time. When I came, I put up two public bulletin boards. Anybody can put. Public Again, I, I hadn't visited the library in a, in a few while, in a, in a little while, so I don't, I don't know what the new rules are. Mm -hmm. But I just hope that, again, as we start looking at Mississippi history, that we're not going backwards rather than going forward. And if we are still looking at denial of access whether it be because of race or because of class or whatever the case may be, then I think that we're going to continue to have issues in Mississippi. And at some point in time, those types of issues are going to become public knowledge and going to spur serious conversation. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Access. Access to information. Access full, to information. full access to information, uh, again, as... For instance, um, I mean, I, I'm new on this, and I'm trying to understand what you're saying there. What, I, what, I, what I'm suggesting is that where um, the public has access to the building, uh, let it be known that they do have access, and then where they don't have access, let it be known. Again, if, that, if it's a state rule that, um, that, you, that uh, you cannot sell books, in a public building, then that information needs to be known. 
And if, if we need to go to the state in order to request a, uh, an amendment to whatever regulation that is, then that's where we'll go. But again, consistency, consistency in um, the allocation of resources is what concerns us. And when we have, we don't have consistency in allocation of resources, then we tend to suggest and, uh, that that implies that Mississippi has not come as far as we continue to say that we have come. Quick example is the two museums. When we go back and look at the visitation at the two museums, we find that the visitation to the Mississippi Museum is very low, while the, while the participation or visitation to the Civil Rights Museum is extremely high. And so we have to ask ourselves why. <coughs> And, and be honest with, with, the, uh, um, with the inquiry, and then be honest enough to correct whatever is causing that imbalance across the board. So that was, that was my comment. And I thank you for your time. I appreciate that. But we do have a website, and it does have a question where you can put your comments on it. Like there are several. The attorney general rule is. There are several. There are several of us that that, that don't have continued access to the website. Um, the to, library here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I mean uh, to to a, to to a computer or to the web or whatever. Mm -hmm. These kind and then you know again. Why is um, that? We have public access. Yeah, like she doesn't even use the computer. One of the one of the yeah. things one of the things that we have to again. I mean, the, the computers are in our buildings. Yes, ma'am. One of the things that we have to we have to understand that if you purge me from your from your roles, I'm not coming in your building, so I don't have that access. You can apply to us to be reinstated. People do it all the time. Again, if I don't, if I'm not, if I'm ignorant to that, then I'm not going to apply. And those are some of the issues that.